Going to reassemble the HTC wing. We have already taken out our broken LCD. Looks like it had ink blots in it. We're going to install our new one. We've got our flex cable down here at the end. Take that, slide it into the flex cable slot. Make sure you get that all the way in there. If you don't, you get it all the way down and then close the latch. It will not work. You'll put your phone, entire phone back together and realize that it's not going to work. Take your flex cable, slide it through this part of the housing. Okay. Make sure remember this. Uh, there's some magnets in there. Picked up some screws. It's pretty common. All right. Get those screws out of our way. Go ahead and line this back up. We got a couple screw holes up top and a couple screw holes screw holes on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and get my screwdriver. I'm going to screw those back in. So you want to take this time to let everybody know if you were, if you don't feel comfortable doing this repair, you can always mail it into our service center. If you have any questions, you can call 850-210-2546. Email crane, C R A N E dot walker, W A L K E R, at gmail dot com. Make sure you get that lined up just right. And there we go. I don't think I mentioned this in the other part of the video, but the two screws up top are a little bit longer. The two on the bottom are actually a shorter, flatter screw. All right, now we've gotten that back together. Let's go ahead and take our housing, put it on here. Now, if you've got any protective screen over your LCD, this would be a good time to take it off. Take that off. Take your face, put it back on, and snap it all the way around. We have one, two, three, four screws on the outside, one, two, three, four, five, six screws on the inside. They do have to go back in the right slots, too. You can't put the wrong ones in the wrong holes. The shorter screws actually go on the interior. The longer screws go on the exterior out here. Easy way to tell is you've only got four of those longer ones. For our purposes, I'm actually not going to screw all of these in because I've got to take this phone back apart to do some other work. But you get the idea. One, two, three, four long ones. One, two, three, four, five, six short ones. Now, take this part of our phone, the keypad. Take it underneath here. Slide that metal lip right there and slide it up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six silver flat short screws that have Phillips heads on them. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple in just to hold it in place for our purposes and then we can so we can move on and keep the video moving at a decent pace. It becomes a little bit tedious. Make sure you go ahead and put all of them in. If you don't, you will it will work for a short period and then it will come apart and you don't want to be that guy. Okay? Now, after we have all six of our screws screwed back in, we've gotten to the point where we can reconnect our motherboard. Now, what I typically recommend is that you slide it back out so you get a little bit more give right there in the flex cable. 
You've got your connector right here for the large port. Take that. Snap it in. Right there, you'll hear it latch in. Fold your tape over. Slide it closed. Make sure you lift the hinge right there on the small one. Slide that flex cable right in there. And you're going to put your tape right back over it. I right, just set it ours aside for disassembly. And that goes right over it to hold it in place. Okay? Now I've gotten back. Here is the vibrate function on the phone. That plugs right in. Flat side down. Take our back housing. Turn it the right way. Snap it back in place. Make sure you've got that out or it won't snap all the way in. Your the, the SIM tray. Snap it all the way around. Take your antenna and speaker. Slide that top down. Get your T4 screwdriver back out. You've got four screw holes on the back. I'm going to go ahead and do these top two for our purposes. Plug your battery back in. And if we've done our job correctly, the phone should be fully reassembled. Assuming we put these last two screws in, of course. And there you go. We have replaced the LCD on an HTC wing. If you have any questions, you can call Crane, 850-210-2546. Special thanks to JP for videotaping today. If you need anything else, just let us know.